As you can see, the house is pretty empty right now. We are officially moving out of our house that we've been living in uh, for the past four years. It's rainy outside and it's kind of gloomy and it's making a little bit more of an uh, emotional experience. Hey, come on, Jordy. Hello. <laughs> There's How Jordy. Good, we're just going through how this is an, uh, an emotional roller coaster and that the rain is kind of making it even more emotional. Did I make it more emotional as well? You yeah. did. We used to make our espresso right here. We used to have our espresso station over here. This couch is going on offer up uh, if anybody's local and wants to buy. <laughs> All right, should we do a little walkthrough real quick and show? And talk about things that happen in each Yeah. Room. Um, first of all, we'll start with this. Right here on the floor, go stand in it, Bubba. Well, that. You. Okay, yeah. Yeah, guess what happened here? You have one guy. <laughs> the right. party that we had was hosted in here because this is the only room with lights. Mm -hmm. Over here is where Frank Sinatra stood on the deck and performed for her birthday. This room has been through the most. Yep. This was season two, three, four? This is where the podcast was. And it went through three different set changes Matt in this room. Mm-hmm. Ethan's in set here. This was a wall that was blocked off that we pulled down. Stassi baby sat here. <laughs> and since the room was soundproof and there was carpet, it was nice and cozy and quiet in here. When we found little Dino Bambino, this is where we had to keep him to stay warm. So he was raised in this room in a little shoebox. He was in a shoebox right there on the floor. On a heating pad and blankets. We used to put boiling water in thermoses and wrap it in towels so he can feel warm. <laughs> so this is where Dean learned to walk and eat. And open his eyes. And open his <laughs> eyes. We had to wake up every one to two hours to feed him. We checked his temperature like every two hours. Mm. Yeah, he had no idea. This is my dance studio. Let's see if I still got it. Hey! I still got it. Kickball change, pot of <laughs> rain. I would teach during COVID, since the studios were closed, I would teach private lessons, one kid at a time in this room. Celebrity kids in this room yeah, right you'll here. Never know. Um, this oh, is... if you don't know, Heath and I, um, obviously we have a bathroom in our bedroom, but it wasn't the best piping. It wasn't the <laughs> water, it felt like, and it's kind of spooky. So there are three other bathrooms in the house. So Keith and I had his and her, his and her bathrooms for we a long did. time. So this was mine and it was kind of nice. This new house, this is our first time sharing, sharing a bathroom. So this was Mariah's bathroom that she would use and get ready in every single day. Cause I liked this for like a vanity. So I would sit up here and do my makeup. Oh, let me show you. The office would be like on um, her phone propped up right here every morning. And then she would be- oh, I have my things on my face. That's okay. This is where I would come and shower and get ready every morning. Show where you do your video. So I would get up on the counter right <laughs> here, and this is where I would do my makeup. Isn't that nice? This is kind of nice. <laughs> Wait, this is actually cool. We got these on Amazon. Oh, yeah. There's a little filter in here to clean the water out, but turn it on. So it's like, oops, I'm missing. I don't know how to work this thing. It's like this. You can clean the sink. Mm -hmm. Like this, you can tilt it up this way and make it a little water fountain. For when you're brushing your teeth, you can water fountain it. And then what's another cool thing is turn it back on. You can also do it as a sprayer. Cool, right? And it's just an attachment that's through. As we all know, moving can be incredibly stressful and overwhelming, especially when you have all those things to pack. But the most important thing to unpack is all those emotions and feelings that you have <laughs> with BetterHelp, which is why I'm excited to tell you that today's sponsor is BetterHelp. Better Help. And BetterHelp is on a mission right now to make therapy more affordable and more accessible, especially when finding therapy in your area can be very difficult. And the best part about BetterHelp is that it's completely online and it's super easy. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and they're going to match you with a licensed therapist in as little as a few days. And another great feature is that you can switch therapists at any time at no additional charge if you're not jiving with your therapist, you know, because... Sometimes you gotta feel them out, you gotta test the waters. And going to see a therapist in person is just so 2010, baby. Do it from the <laughs> comfort of your own home. Don't spend any gas money, mm -hmm. sit in any traffic, wait mm -hmm. in a waiting room. Baby, bundle up in your blankets, your couch, and just 
text chat, you can voice chat, you can video chat, whatever you feel comfortable with. So if you're ready to try out BetterHelp, all you have to do is click that link in my description below or go to betterhelp.com slash Heath Hussar. And if you click on that link below, you're gonna help out our channel That's and right. you're gonna get a 10% off your first month. That's right, baby. Again, all you have to do is go to the link in my description below or betterhelp.com slash Heath Hussar and you're gonna get 10% off your first month and BetterHelp, Thank you so much for sponsoring this channel. We love you so much. We love you. So every morning I would walk from the bedroom and I would come here and shower and get ready and I'd put a towel on and I would walk all the way <laughs> past the kitchen, <laughs> all the way here. We would go through Dean and Dean's room. This was the office and then when Dean came along, this was the nursery. <laughs> this, yeah, this was play place we had. Gizmos, gadgets. And then we make them. our way into our bedroom. Still in a towel. Still here. No lights. <laughs> wow, it's really echoing now. Uh, this was our closet. There was like a little dresser here. We would get ready. Uh, but here, we'll show you the, the bathroom real quick. That was... I do love the way it looks. I just it's wish very... it wasn't so um, rusty. The blue is really cool. It was just... Yeah. The other bathrooms in the house compared to this one, they were just much nicer and bigger. And we just... Uh... We did it because we could. And there was no bugs. When I see... Uh... A little silverfish, game over. Now that we're moving, every time we locked ourselves out of the house, we had to enter through this window. <laughs> this was... Sauna. This would have been really sick as a sauna. I know, I can't believe it's not. It looks like a sauna, but it's just a closet. And then the grand living room. This is where nothing happened. This is where <laughs> we had stored furniture that we were buying and trying to sell on and off up. I do love this window. This is the best part. In the 70s, this used to be a koi pond here. So the people that used to live here said they used to open this door and the kids used to sit around the koi pond. They should have kept it a koi pond. It's pretty cool. If anybody cares about that. This is where Bingy Wingy used to come and oh, he would yeah. sit here. Yep, this is where we befriended our squirrels. Chickens used to run around. We had a couple ducks visit. If you didn't know, we had to give them to a friend who has, I thought we gave them a good life. This friend lives in the Malibu Hills mm. with like 10 other chickens, so they're living their best life and we're able to visit whenever we want. But we couldn't bring them to the um, new house. And we also can't travel with them, unfortunately, so. Yeah, we weren't a- They're better off somewhere else. We weren't allowed to have chickens, so we had to pass them on to somebody else who loves chickens and is gonna take care of them. They actually have a- uh, a farm hand at the new house that tends to them all day every day they're specifically there just to watch the chickens and make sure they're laying their eggs what are they called chicken chicken tenders <laughs> <laughs> the chicken tender <laughs> the chicken tender whoever she is apparently she went to the owner and once they adopted our chickens she went to the owner and she was like those chickens can lay I, eggs yeah apparently they can really laying down. Our girls were laying them down. Yeah. They were producing. <laughs> this was probably our coolest room. A lot of good times in here, a lot of parties. I think we told a story about it on the podcast, but somebody who used to live here in the 70s came by and she was telling us about the property. And she sent me pictures of this room and the backyard specifically. And I'll insert those pictures. Hmm. I'll do it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's just really cool, like seeing the fireplace and their Christmas card and seeing the kids gathering around and A lot of out. history here. Yeah, it's really cool. The pool looks really pretty in the rain. Should we jump in for one last time? Yeah, I'll go after you. <laughs> Diving board, which is illegal in California, unless it was already installed before it became illegal. Ooh. That's right. You the can't tomato get it plant, we gotta bring that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, you wanna let it soak in the rain for a little? Just a little bit, Mariah. <laughs> Just a little. You know, <laughs> you're gonna go on the zip line. Mariah should go on the zip line. I was going to, right after Heath does it. 